Hello. Now, we're going to be looking at rugby skills, but you don't have to have a rugby ball to practice rugby skills. If you've got a foam rugby ball like this, there, you can use that. If mummy or daddy or big brother or big sister has got another rugby ball, you can use that one. It might be a bit big. The littler you are, the smaller the number sized rugby ball you have. When you're a massively huge big fella like me, <clears throat> uh, you might want to use a size five. Uh, failing that, you go down to four, three, two, and you can even get little mini rugby balls. But you don't need mini rugby balls. You could even use a rolled up jumper tied up there's all sorts of different ways you can do that or if you've got a spare 30 or 40 pounds you could even use a toilet roll and all you're going to do is use whatever you've got to hand to practice your rugby skills we're going to be looking at how to hold a rugby ball now just like you and me and everybody else a rugby ball has got a nose and a bottom and in my case a lovely big fat tummy so what you want to do is cuddle it around its big fat tummy pointing its nose up and its bottom down what we're going to do now is a little drill just to familiarise you, make you aware of what a rugby ball can do. You're going to get to know the ball and all you're going to do is throw it in the air, clap and catch it. So we're going to go one, then when you've got that sorted you're going to try two claps. And then you're going to try, wait for it, yes you've guessed it, four claps. Or three. This time out we're just going to practice spinning it and that's a really useful thing to have when you're a rugby player. And what you're going to do is you're just gently going to throw the ball in the air and spin it with one hand against the other. Make sure your thumbs are pointing up for this bit. There we go, got it, good. And then when you've done that, this is the tricky bit, you're going to try spinning it the other way, like that. Just keep doing that maybe 10 times on each hand. If you find it difficult with one hand, keep practicing that one. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring the ball around behind you and around the other way. Now with little hands you might want to roll the ball around your tummy and your back or you might want to, if you've got slightly bigger hands or a smaller ball, just hold it like that and pop it around like that all the way around. And when you're brilliant at that way, yep, back the other way. Now this is for the advanced class. Now this one you can, uh, you can get everybody in your family to try and point at them and laugh if they get it wrong. Uh, no, don't do that really. Uh, if everybody's getting better with what they're trying to do, that's what we're after. This is quite a tricky one and it's called the scissor catch. And what you're going to do is throw the ball in the air and catch it with your hands the wrong way round. Then comes the funny bit, you're going to throw it in the air and catch it with your hands the right way round. Now just to let you know, when you catch it you're going to end up like that. When you're perfect at that, absolutely brill, what you're then going to do, instead of doing it that way, you're going to start off like this, throw the ball up and have your hands the other way. I'm going to give it a go and you can see whether I can do it. So this is the easy way, back, and this is the hard way, coming up in three, two, one, yes, brilliant.